Hello, y'all. Hi, Taylor. Good morning. Uh, hi, and good evening to you. Are Are you actually? Hold on. Where are you located? Is your Are you plus? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm in Virginia. Oh, you're in Virginia. Yeah. Oh, well, then good morning as well. <laughs> yeah, good morning. All right. Ian, are you on the West Coast right now or in England? Or where are you today? If your audio is connected. My audio is connected and I'm on the West Coast, the same as usual. All right. Yeah, no, I haven't been traveling recently. Okay. No family visits. For no, a while not exciting then. so far. Um, went back in what October, November, and I haven't been back since. All right. Well, let's give it another minute or two. Is there a time change happening in different parts of the world right now? Already, no, no, way early for that. No, we just have no friends. All right. Um, it's on record. We have no friends. If someone wants to come join us mm -hmm. and be friends, okay. and they're listening to this, <laughs> we made on Mondays at 1600. Hold on, wait. Is that right? 1600 UTC. All right. Hi guys. Morning. Hey. Hello. Um, please add your name and any agenda items to the meeting notes. We'll get started here in a, a minute or two. All right. Um, well, Ian, maybe we just get started with the small group we have today. Okay. Uh, are you able to share your screen with the notes? Uh, oh, is it me? Yes. Uh, I can do. <laughs> Let me just try and fix something else I was trying to make work. Sorry, my laptop's having morning problems. Yeah. How's that? Everybody see that? It looks good. Looks good. Yep.
Right. Um, Taylor, are you leading him or I? It's you today, please. Oh, it is, is it? I could have sworn it was you. All right, fine. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I, no, it's probably my turn. Week. You picked up my mine last week anyway. That's okay. Right. right. So next week is a federal holiday. Should we cancel this group next Monday? Um, in my experience, it's not a terribly consistently um, observed federal holiday, but I'm certainly not around next Monday. So my vote is for um, let's skip it next week. Any other preferences one way or the other? Skip. Skip. Uh, just speak up. It's, we can all um, communicate. Everyone here is active. So if you don't want to be here next week or you aren't going to be, then just say so. Yeah, we can skip so, it. Yeah. Well, okay. if you won't be here, then there's no point. Um, okay, that question is answered. We got a majority of people on the call. Um, right, so we still have um, the Cloud Native Telco Day EU uh, open papers. Um, I won't go through all the events this week because there's a lot of them and they've been on here for ages at this point. But since that one's got a um, an open request for papers, call for papers, then uh, you might want to go and have a look, see if there's anything that you feel um, you want to talk about, any of your experiences, any of your thoughts or ideas, and put a presentation in there. And don't forget as well to tell us of the exciting presentations you've put in and also anything else that you've seen on uh, on record that other people are putting in as well for any of these events. It's all worth, worth knowing what um, uh, what's coming up that's worth, uh, worth actually spending the time to go and hear. Um, so I won't go through the upcoming events, but the, there is an important pair there, which is that the time zone changes. And Taylor, are we basically stuck with the UTC time? So we're, our meeting will move an hour in the places which change their time zone. Is that how we're playing this? That's how we've been doing it. Just keep it at 1600 UTC and um, that stays time, time uh, daylight savings changes, then we still stay at 16. If we want to shift that in the future, I think we should have more input. I'm not complaining for it being an hour later. An hour later is totally fine with me. So anyway. Yeah, um, if it was going to happen, I'd probably want to try to keep it an hour later <laughs> myself. Yes, it was a little bit of carelessness that it's not that hour earlier as well. Okay, um, again, you're, you're all capable of reading. There are a list of other events here. Um, you can go and double check. As you can see, there isn't just the one call for papers open. It's just the first one that's coming up. There are a few others um, worth um, considering. Um, to uh, submit to, but none of them are exactly imminent at this point in time. Um, I'm going to skip the old, skip the first one for a moment because we'll get there shortly and it will uh, eat towards the end of the meeting likely. Um, but I would just point out that your, your uh, friendly neighborhood co-chairs, that's me, Taylor and Jeff, uh, have a one year term and we were elected about 11 months ago at this point. So it will imminently come round that we need to open nominations for um, the next year's co-chairs to um, do the work of organizing you all um, and uh, hosting these meetings, sending out the occasional um, sort of request to you. And um, yes, um, you're, I, I'm not quite sure when we will open the, uh, the um, nominations, but you're welcome to self-nominate and uh, I encourage you to do so. Um, but just, I didn't want to get that lost. It's, I think it's about two months out at this point in time, maybe a little less. Um, and I wanted to make sure everybody had their opportunity to, to um, suggest themselves for uh, co-chair if they want to have a go next year. Um, right. Um, not quite sure what this one means. Who yeah. wrote this? Yeah, sorry, it was me. I don't know why it's right, but anonymous. Okay. Um... I think that's right. Like a month ago, we already started to discuss a, a document I wrote and didn't really get inputs on it. Like I said, to continue to to uh, 
to write more. I'm re-editing re my link here. Wait a second. Um, sorry, I think for some reason, can't copy the link. Paste. Um, so it was the document I started to write about, you know, different security best practices. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I really tried to write up, you know, the first few points here, okay, just to get a sense of, you know, what do you think, what we think as a group of, uh, about things that, that are useful and can be added as back best practices, re recommendations. Um, uh, to our to our uh, uh, agenda and uh, and since I didn't really get any inputs on it uh, and the small inputs I got I, I already incorporated so I simply uh, continue to write and and uh, again I, I just simply get to the point okay where I think that I've in a very high level but I've covered some uh, most important things I think that 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 uh, that are important for for the uh, for the API server configuration from a security perspective, um, and you know, and I want to ask you know us, okay, you guys here, that that how do you see this? Okay, what should we? What should I add? Should we move this to to the GitHub repo? Uh, should uh, should I correct wording or, or really? I would be happy to get into this here. Um. Well, this should go to the, um, the the GitHub repo because it is a best practice. I mean, uh, easily justified. It doesn't need a use case to go with it. You're basically saying that it is a good idea for Kubernetes to be under control and not hacked. I think uh, you'd want to spell that out in relatively simple words at the top to give a reason for it. But aside from that, yeah, fine. Um, there are perhaps one or two of these that I wonder about in a... Um, an NFE context, um, although a good deal of them are quite logical and I don't think I would debate. Um, the, you're mentioning uh, OpenID down here at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, that's an alternative among three, I think is what you're trying to say. Is that correct? Yeah, so so I think the client authentication part is, uh, is you, you know most of the things are okay from a security perspective and this is what i write, wrote okay that i really trying to put a little emphasis on all these alternative options that where, where the security issues can lie okay and there is no clear best practice i think the only thing which was big uh, from my point of view was a big no-no is a static token files which i i think in general it's not a good idea uh, but client certificate authentication, open, uh, open ID connect tokens, and web based authentications, both of those three can be fine uh, as an authentication mechanism um, from my point of view. And, and you know, well, again, I'm open for, for you know, feedback. Yeah, I mean, the only suggestion I would make on that there is to rather than basically list what you could do, list why you want to do it. What are the requirements of, of authentication that we're looking for? Which so is... like so like like talking from you know more that we suggest this or or that is what you mean. If, if you know what you're looking for, then you can say why these things are good or bad, whether they cover all of the needs. Um, you've mm -hmm. made notes, for instance, like for instance, like the static token files have a problem with rotation. So my question to you is, do we need rotation? Because mm -hmm. if we don't need rotation, that isn't a problem for us in our use case. And if we do, then it kind of rules it out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the question, right? You Rather than list these things, list what your perfect solution would include and then score these things according to that list. Okay, or I will try to think of, okay, how to, to do it. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, there's, I think um, nothing too contentious here, just a list of things that you should check you've remembered to do. And uh, that would seem like a perfectly reasonable thing for best practice. I don't think anyone would have any 
specific arguments with any of the things you're suggesting people do again with the single exception that this section at the bottom is a choice of four and you aren't making a recommendation so if you mm. can't make a recommendation you could detail how the choice is made if you can yeah. choose one and say this is best or maybe two and say they have different strengths then that would make things better if you just list all four then you're not it's not best practice because you're telling them what they could do you're telling them all of what they could do yeah yeah rather you know the emphasis was again so since as you say this is not really sometimes it's not our choice okay because there are different you know um you know pre-existing reasons okay to choose you know open id or choose to, uh, some kind of weapon-based authentication because you already have some kind of authentication system in place and and you want to stick with it and Therefore, I, I feel that I cannot make this decision, but I can't tell that within that decision, okay, what to look for, what can be the, pro, uh, the, the problems and what should be the best way to use it if someone decides to use it. Yeah, I, I mean, from that perspective, you could say, you know, you're going to need an authentication mechanism. It's good practice to have one. Yeah. For obvious reasons, it's good practice to have one that doesn't require restarting the API server every time the credentials uh, change. It's good practice to have one where your where credentials can be revoked should yeah. they be problematic, and so on and so forth. Those are good practices, even if right. you can't necessarily make the choice on somebody else's behalf. Right. Right. Gotcha. Right. I'm doing all the talking here. I can't be the only one with an opinion. Ildiko, you're sitting there, you're very quiet. I think it's your turn. I just joined like two minutes ago because I was on another call. Um, I need more context in order to- <laughs> Just start in. saying <laughs> anything about certificates and security practices, whatever's on top of your mind. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> Ian, can you give a quick highlight? Of so the conversation here so far is that uh, Ben is proposing this as API security for the Kubernetes API, these are the things that you should do. Um, I think, speaking personally, that about 90% of this document is perfectly good common sense things that nobody would argue with, right? It, have audit logs, yeah. disable anonymous requests. This is all sensible stuff. There really isn't anything to quibble about. They just need writing down. And as such, this is basically a, um, a best practice in the making and just writing up in the best practice and committing it would be most of the work that's left here. The only thing yeah. that remained that was an exception is that this section of the document about client authentication, it makes a strong argument earlier that client authentication is necessary, but here it doesn't list a way of doing, the right way of doing client authentication, which is fair, because I don't think you would get everybody to agree on that. Um, but I think maybe the best way is to say what the strengths of what strengths of authentication you are looking for. Um, because rather than basically listing under each of these categories, this is good because this is bad because, just say good authentication will include the following, you know, checklist yeah. items. Yeah, I think I got it. I mean, I um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, just, uh, just sorry, I just don't want to say at the end that I think I, I get what he means by that and I totally agree. I just wanted to ask if it would maybe make sense to call these common practices if we say that that these are items that are that we are listing here that that are commonly used and therefore they are considered good practices as opposed to saying these are best practices mm -hmm. to outline the scope of what the information is here and what we are shooting or unless we want to go into further evaluation and say that this is good, this is bad. Um, yes, I mean, it's a wording issue, but yes, I can see that. I, I think it's fair to say that um, we're gonna run into this problem in other circumstances where what we would like to be listing is I have done a lot of NFE, I have run a lot of these things and my re my recommendation of everything I've tried that this is the best thing to do is X. What we're saying here is um, 
I have studied the security implications of choices here, and this is my recommendation of what is the best based on industry practice in related areas, which isn't quite that thing. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions on that, stick them in the meeting notes, but um, I, I appreciate your point. No, makes sense. I just, I just also know a few people who have reservations with saying best practices. Um, so I just partially driven by that experience. I, I wanted to throw that in as well, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would personally rate it as the best thing we can think of at this point in time until we think of something better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's not how other people see this. Well, then I could also say um, maybe recommendations. Yeah. From, from us who care about this stuff. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, anyway. Um, no, no, I don't want to derail the discussion. We can end this one here. It was just a quick note. Yeah, no, that's fair. And Ben, don't don't sort of worry too much about that. Write your use, yeah. user story. Um, Ildiko will review it and Ildiko will figure out whether there's a good way of changing the terminology if it matters that much. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, as I say, I, I feel like, sorry, you, uh, your best practice actually, you're writing. But I, I feel like you're most of the way there with this. Yeah. Okay. And and uh, after you know, I, I'm doing the corrections. Okay. Obviously, I will have it for reviewing. Okay. I will open a pull request, uh, and we'll do the same for the other uh, for for the other Kubernetes control plane components or kubelets and stuff. The same ideas. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, you're also welcome to re re uh, refer to external. Uh, as long as they're well recorded and the link isn't likely to break, re refer to external uh, instances of best practices. Nobody's pretending we have to write a copy of this for ourselves. Yeah, sure. For something outside. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I rearranged because that was a specific, and now we can go on to the general, which is the pull requests, which I always hate. So, um, right, starting from the oldest. Taylor, you went through these extensively last week. Did you have anything to add to uh, what's on here in terms of um, comments or uh, expected activities? No, I think that one stalled. Um, we're waiting primarily on, on Jeffrey to um, get through it, which he had said in the last couple of weeks, he was going to start working through this. Yeah, I mean, I can see there's a bunch of open, discussed but unanswered comments. So it looks to me like we're looking for, for a change that takes them into account. Okay, um, you and I will take it on our um, task list to go and um, corner Jeff and make him do some work then. Sounds good. I, and I think, like you said, as the time shift we're going to start seeing more activity from him as um yeah i i know he's found it rather difficult to make meetings in recent times um and hopefully the time shift will will basically make this slot free for him where otherwise he's a bit busy but yes um and now i have the guilty conscience because the next one is mine and i see it has 29 comments and i can tell you i have not read 29 comments um Yeah, I'm not going to give you a straight answer to this because I seriously haven't read this. Um, I see Pankaj has been very busy. Oh, yes, and that's right. There's a couple of odd grammatical bits as well. But yeah, so um, I'm still reasonably comfortable with this. I do think just skimming this that he's um talking about format rather than content which is sort of helpful um because it means that we're in roughly the right direction um i would welcome anybody else's comments um there is nothing wrong with having tons of comments on here and i promise that i will have a look at it this week and re rewrite it to try and address the points that have been made um if you've got anything you want to ask while i'm actually standing right here then please go ahead Otherwise, we will move on to pull request number three, 
which is the stateful use of stories and use cases. Um, as I recall, uh, and again, I have a guilty conscience because I was um, stuck not being able to press the magic approve button on this. Um, but as I recall, you, uh, Taylor, you were looking for five approvals here. Yeah, um, we had a few people saying that they would approve offline. Yes, including me. Um, can you, does your, does it work right now for putting a thumbs up on it? On the review, click file changes or yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. You have three. At the moment, you have me, Tom and yourself. Anyone else who wishes to express their approval now would be a good moment, um, or at least after this meeting, if you want five minutes to actually work out what you're looking at. Um, again, what we're looking for here is um, good enough, not perfect. So, you know, it, it's once it's in there, it can be fixed and changed and reworded, um, but um, it's never going to get in there until until we get, as we currently want, five reviewers. Um, and Taylor, you were talking about reducing the number of reviewers down to three, and I think we have somewhat less of an active cord, um, quorum at the moment, so maybe that would be a good idea if you want to propose that change to the governance file. I started and then I realized that we got to update three or four files. I want to make sure it's um, done right. Okay. I'll, that's on my to do for this week though. Yeah, because we've just set the bar a bit too high for ourselves. You Finding five active people to give these documents for once over every week is a little bit too difficult. Um, so yeah, we just sort of come down a bit. But other than that, I mean, um, you're after one review. Um, uh, I uh, I noticed Watson hasn't said yes, so you can go and corner Watson if he's um, anywhere handy to be found. But um, yeah. Right. Um, well, I'm not going to call out anyone on this call that was said that they'd review it. <laughs> you just did. It was me. You've already done it, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> can we get anyone else? Um, have y'all had anyone else had time to read through this? I honestly I went through it okay. And from my point of view, it was okay. I, as I told before, I didn't feel it was too much thing that I from security perspective I could add, but I went over it and it looked fine. Give it a thumbs up and a comment. Uh, I, I am happy to take an order, uh, a verbal approval as an approval for what it's worth. It's it's on record. Um, but that said, Chase uh, um, Taylor, you've got um, uh, you've got two failing unit tests. So um, I would rather you fix those before we actually committed it, or else we break the trunk and then break the master branch. Uh, um, all right. I think I'll. And if, if you fix them and there's no material differences, then I promise I will press the approve button for you. Uh, in fact, I promise I press the merge button for you. All right. All right. I'll do it. I was going to toss it back to Oliver to fix it, but I'll, I'll do it. Oh, we, sorry. You, you, Oliver. Sorry. I was forgetting this wasn't yours for whatever reason. But yeah, um, um, I, I, I would imagine that there are two minute jobs. So let's... Actually, I may not be able to do it because I think it's over on his and I'd have to do a. I mean, I'd probably say merge it now and then I will uh, I'll work on a, a fix. I'll start one immediately. OK. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's not going to be anything significant by the looks of it. Sorry, I made a mess of that. Um, all right, let's just get this in. You can squash merge, it's fine. I think there's only one change here anyway. There we go. All right, I'll go work on making it pass. Right, okay. I have now officially run out of uh, pull requests. So any other business? Because if there's no other business, then you all have 25 minutes to write best practices 
and uh, I expect one from each of you by the end of the day. <laughs> that would be wonderful, wouldn't that? Well, it's crafty, I think. I think it's the only way. Either, either you find interesting things to talk about in the meeting or alternatively a best practice of peace as homework. That, that seems like a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you for your time. It is 8.35-ish, so um, we've managed that in half an hour. All good. And I will see you all again next week. Sounds good. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye. everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye.